Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Photoshop scripting tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how you can run menu items from within a script and give you a lot more control over your scripts. Now, while Photoshop scripting is very expansive and you can access and change a lot of things, uh, there's a lot of things you can't natively do like select specific menu operations or even run actions. So today I'm going to show you how you can get uh, your developer computer set up to basically listen for these kind of actions and then get the what's called a string ID to type ID of any menu command or anything similar to that and then be able to run it from within your script. And now if I go ahead and run this in Photoshop and I don't have debugging warning turned off so I'll just hit yes, it will toggle the brushes panel and if I run it again, it will untoggle it. So this is a very useful thing for just expanding what you can do with scripting in Photoshop. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link and uh, make sure you follow us there for coding updates. Follow me down below on AE Scripts and check out some of the products I have on there to help support me. And as well, follow on Instagram down below for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, UXP plugins, expressions, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube and get cool perks, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. Link for that is in the description. All right, so first off, there is a method or function in Photoshop scripting called app.run menu item. And if you can provide the menu ID for this, you can toggle any menu or click on any button. Anything from in the file menu, you could manually click print, save, uh, literally anything. And if you get that menu ID, you can toggle it or click on it essentially. So first we need to figure out how we can get a menu ID of any item in Photoshop. The way we're going to do that is by using the scripting listener plugin. So I'll go to this link. And again, this will be in the description. Go ahead and go to this link. And this will take us to the downloadable plugins and content for Photoshop in Adobe's website. You want to scroll down past MATLAB or MATLAB. And we have the scripting listener plugin. This is exactly what we want. And basically what it's going to do is write down a bunch of scripting code that we execute or just run by clicking things in Photoshop and put that into a debug file on our desktop, which is going to be something we can look at and gather any menu ID or other code we want. So the scripting listener plugin can record JavaScript to a log file, as just mentioned. Um, so all we have to do to install it is make sure we restart Photoshop. We want to download the scripting listener plugin. Uh, if you're on Photoshop or if you're on Mac, get this one if you're on Windows. And that will just give you a download link that you can download in the zip file. Uh, you'll find a bunch of documents, sample scripts, and utilities. Uh, so once you download the file, in my case, I have Windows. Uh, it's got a 32 and a 64-bit version. All you need to do, we have our documents, sample scripts, and scripting utilities. Simply copy the scripting utilities folder. And then navigate to your version of Photoshop's folder, in this case, 2021. And you'll want to paste the scripting utilities folder or just move it into your plugins folder. This is going to put scriptlistener.8li inside of there, now giving us access to use this tool. On Mac, it's just the same. You want to put it in your Photoshop version plugins folder. Just drag the scripting utilities folder with the plugin in there. And now we just need to relaunch Photoshop. All right, and now we have the ability to sort of just record events that we do in Photoshop. All right, now that we've restarted Photoshop, the next step is to basically use this plugin, which spits out a log file on our desktop called scripting listener js.log. And it's going to contain a bunch of code basically recording our actions. If we load up a menu, it's going to record that. And we want to basically use this to get the string ID to type ID. And this is going to store our menu ID, which we can then run as a menu item and uh, execute over and over as many times that menu item. So what I'm going to do is first go into my actions panel, actually, because by default, a lot of these menu items are disabled. Um, and if you want to have access to them, uh, one way to do it is through the actions panel. I'm going to select just sort of a dummy uh, action that I don't use, and I'm going to hit the record button. Then we'll click on this little doohickey here and hit insert menu item. This will then allow us to pick any menu item, even though we don't have a canvas open. So in this case, or in the previous case, what I did was choose brushes. Then I have a menu item window brushes, hit OK. Now, if I load up my scripting listener, js.log, 
this has all the code that I said it was going to be recording. What we need to look for is string ID to type ID. As you can see, there are quite a few. Each of these IDs that are getting converted is essentially an action that we can run. But we want to find one that is related to what we chose, which was the brushes. So if we keep going down here at the very bottom, since it was the last action we ran, we have a string ID to type ID toggle brush presets panel. All we have to do then is copy this, which we kind of already did, but we'll paste it in here. And then we can say run menu item using this variable uh, that that is storing the menu ID for that particular menu. And when we run this in Photoshop, we can then toggle that menu item. And then if you want to go back in and get more information, you can look at all this in, all this info. But another thing to do is just to clear it out. And if you have something else you want to take a look at, uh, reopen the actions panel. Uh, record using your dummy action and choose something else and see what you can find. If I wanted to maybe say, oh, forgot to press insert menu item. You can see right there, it just updated uh, as we clicked that. Maybe we want to change or go to file scripts. And maybe we want to tell it to browse for a script. Maybe we can do that. And here you can see we have ID browse scripts, string ID to type ID called browse scripts. So I can paste this into my code here. And instead of running our toggle brush presets uh, ID, we can run ID browse scripts, which should launch a file dialog to select a script. So we hit yes. You can see now it wants us to choose a script. So you can go through and do this to basically any menu item and use this scripting listener JS uh, log file to look at all this background information that's being dis, uh, done in Photoshop. You can even learn a lot of stuff from this information, like uh, how everything can sort of be broken down to a menu operation and you can access those menu operations yourself and read them and then use them in your own script to expand the functionality. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel and down in the description, you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link. Follow us there for coding updates. Check out my stuff on AE scripts where I'm selling lots of cool products and follow on Instagram down below for live updates. If you're not already a member of the discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting extensions, After Effects, Premiere plugins, UXP plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube, you can get cool perks and become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. Link in the description. Thanks again for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.